Hello friends, welcome to another video here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's video, we are gonna be going over all of the details with how you can obtain Rotom in Pokemon's Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now Rotom is a, a unique encounter in Brilliant Diamond and Shannon Pearl. You cannot obtain Rotom in the, the wild. It is only a stat encounter and you're only available to catch it once per game. But once you do catch it, you can breed it. You can breed it with Ditto and have a whole family of them if you want. Now guys, it is worth noting at this point that Rotom isn't actually available to catch until the post game of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. You're gonna have to beat the Elite Four until this encounter is accessible. Although you will have the tools to get into the old Chateau, you're not actually gonna be able to experience this encounter until you have finished the Elite Four, which is a little bit of a shame because at this point in the game, you might think it would be worth adding to your party to have in your playthrough. So to obtain Rotom, you're first gonna need access to the Hidden Machine HM cut, and you get that from beating Gardenia in the second gym in Eterna City. Now once you beat uh, Gardenia she will give you access to cut through your Pokétech device and then you are going to be good to go. So once you are outside the Pokémon Center in Eternita, this is going to be our starting point to show you where the Haunted Mansion is, you want to take a route west out of the city onto Route 205. Now this will take you into Eterna Forest and once you're inside the forest you will just live literally heads forward like we're doing on the video here until you get to an area where there are two trees that you can cut down. You want to cut the trees and then make your way through a patch of grass and you will come across the Haunted Mansion. Now once you're inside the Haunted Mansion you want to just go inside here up the first staircase to the left and then follow it around and take the first door in front of you and then take a left again and it is the first door after your left. So you want to come into this room here and you'll be able to see a TV. Now just before we go any further you need to make sure that the time is after 8 p.m. in your game. If it's not then this encounter will not work. So you need to be after 8 p.m. in your game for this encounter to work. So once it is past 8 p.m. you can go up to this TV. Uh, I would suggest saving before this point because you don't want to knock Rotom out. You would have to then go through the Elite Four uh, before you'd be able to have that respawned and then have the chance to catch it again. So make sure you do save just in case anything goes wrong once you have saved just click A onto the TV, you're gonna thump it, and this will initiate the Rotom encounter. So Rotom only gonna be level 15, so gonna be quite easy to catch. Once you've got Rotom, there is gonna be an item that is dropped after you do catch it. Now it's gonna be the secret key. Now this is a little change from previous versions of Diamond and Pearl that we've seen originally. Uh, the secret key will give you access to a location where you're gonna be able to change Rotom's form. So we're heading back to Eterna City. Now we're in Eterna a city at the Pokemon Center you want to be heading straight behind to the top of the town and this is to the, the galactic building here there will be trees in front of this building that you're gonna to have to cut down but once you have access to cut you can get through it once you're inside you want to head to the, the left top hand corner of this floor so you want to head over here where we are now and you literally just click A on this wall and voila the secret key will work it will open up a hidden base or a hidden room to the back of this room Room. Now you want to go inside here and once you do you can see all of the different appliances that you'll be able to use and put Rotom into. This will initiate a cutscene with Professor Rohan, he'll come in, he'll talk to you about the Rotoms and whether or not the classification of Rotom is a Pokemon or not because it's going into an appliance and you'll have this nice little cutscene here and once Professor Rohan has left you're going to have the option to put Rotom into any one of these appliances to get your respective Rotom typing. You're going to have Rotom Maw, Rotom Heat, Rotom Frost and Rotom Wash. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below which Rotom form is your favorite. Would love to hear from you all. Now Rotom Wash is probably my favorite out of the two. It's hard to decide between Rotom Heat and Rotom Wash but I'm going to put mine into the washing machine here and get myself a nice Rotom Wash. It will learn its respected move for its typing. So with Rotom Wash here you can see Hydro Pump. The other typings will obviously get their respected either Leaf Blade overheat or blizzard with their appliance change so that wraps up a rotom just remember that this is post game content so you're not going to be able to access this 
encounter until after the Elite Four until you beat the game. I hope you found this guide useful, friends. If you have, please consider dropping a like on the video. It does really help out the channel. And if you've enjoyed it and you'd like to see more brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl content, do consider subscribing to the channel because we have so many guides lined up to help you out through this playthrough. So thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you all for another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.